You're listening to the Survivors to Thrivers podcast. And in today's episode, I want to talk to you about a gift you can give yourself to make a real change. Stay tuned. If you're a survivor of violence and are ready to get control of your life again, you're in the right place at the right time. This is the Survivors to Thrivers podcast with your host, Cranford Blackman. Hey everybody, Cranford here. And welcome back to another episode of Survivors to Thrivers podcast. And this is episode 24. And at the time of this recording, we are right in the week between Christmas and New Year's. So, I'm going to talk to you about a gift you can give to yourself, okay? You've already given your gifts to other people. You've got stuff from them. Some of it wonderful. Some of it you kind of go, what is it, right? But even those can be fun. So what I want you to do, I want you to think about giving something to yourself now. Nobody else can give this to you. Only you can. And this is really important. This is something every survivor has to deal with well you know this is something everybody has to deal with but especially those of us who are survivors now as i said this is important for everybody but this is the survivors to thrivers podcast so i'm going to be talking to you directly survivors like me but of course you can certainly share this with your friends who have not dealt with violence before it will help them too so let me start with this When we talk about being a survivor of violence, it covers quite the range of different kinds of violence, doesn't it? Whether it's a sexual assault, domestic violence, uh, home invasion, uh, and you know, it doesn't have to all be physical abuse, physical challenges. It can be emotional abuse or psychological abuse. Uh, It can be something that happened to you last year or it can be something that happened to you when you were three or four it's all violence that will affect you and probably does still affect you for the rest of your life but with counseling and some help and learning some things maybe it won't affect you quite as terribly that's one of the things that i try to do with survivors to thrivers and with the classes i teach I know that I can't make the past go away, but I can teach something to help you feel stronger today, more empowered today, and safer. So you can do that. You can learn those things. And not just for me. You can learn them anywhere, but I do love being able to teach you. So here's what I want to talk about as far as giving a gift to yourself. The gift I want you to give yourself is forgiveness. Now, why do you need to give yourself forgiveness, right? Well, if you're a survivor of violence, you have certainly felt the feeling of, did I let that bad stuff happen to me? Why didn't I stop it? Why didn't I know how to stop it? Why didn't I leave that relationship? Did I cause it? Did I invite that into my life? Did I dress wrong? Uh, You know, there's so many ways that we can hold ourselves guilty for what happened. And, you know, I just said a bunch of them, and I'm sure that there's many other ways, many things that you've probably thought. You know, why didn't I know better? Why didn't I know what he was doing or she was doing? Why didn't I know what they had planned? Uh, Why didn't I know more about how to take care of myself. And those questions, when we put them to ourselves in the wrong way, they can be really a way of pointing guilt at ourself, right? And I don't want you to do that. This is important for you to know. I'm sure you've heard it before and you're gonna hear it again, but I hope I will be part of helping you to remember it. You were not responsible for what happened. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault. It doesn't matter what you were wearing. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter what you did or didn't know. 
the only person responsible for violence towards you, whether it's physical, psychological, or emotional, is the abuser. It's them. It is not you. It can't be you. It's nice to think that we might have power over other people to get them to do what we want, right? But that's not the case. You did not make your abuser hurt you. You did not make your attacker attack you. I want you to pull up those memories, especially where you go, was it my fault? What did I do? Why didn't I blah, blah, blah. And I want you to just kind of hold yourself emotionally or physically, you know, you ever give yourself a hug, it's okay to do. But hold on to yourself, love yourself, and forgive yourself. It's okay. It's all right. You didn't know what to do. You did the best you could. And if that was to stay in one place because it was the only way you could think of to survive, that's okay. You did the best you could. So don't look at that now as you did something terrible. We always do the best we can in cases of taking care of ourselves and our children. So if you look at something that you think you could have done better, it was the best you could do at the time. So forgive yourself. I want you to go into the new year with the freedom of guilt that you've been putting on yourself. Okay, you can do that. It will lighten your load. That weight that you carry on your shoulders where you think maybe somehow it was your fault or even partially your fault, I don't want you to carry that anymore. You can let it go. It's okay to do. It doesn't mean you're a bad person to forgive yourself. It doesn't mean you approve of what happened if you forgive yourself. What it means is that you recognize the truth of it. Only the bad guy, only the attacker, only the violent husband, only the violent parent. It takes an abuser to choose to abuse or to attack. It's not you. So let that burden go. It's not yours to carry. This really is a lesson that can lighten your spirits. Okay, I want you to be able to look in the mirror and smile at yourself and go, you did the best you could. And I forgive you for not knowing what to do. I forgive you for not knowing what was happening. I forgive you and I love you. I want you to say that to yourself and maybe it feels silly, maybe it doesn't, but it's important. I want you to just get rid of that burden. Let it go, okay? Let it go. You don't have to carry that into the new year. I want you to go into the new year lighter and happier because we know that the only way we can really take care of ourselves is to love ourselves. So you've got to love yourself to take good care of yourself, to want to be able to grow, to want to be more successful, uh, to want to be a better parent or a better friend or a better spouse. You got to love who you are before you can really love somebody else the right way. So, and part of that is getting rid of that guilt and that blame that you've given yourself. Okay. So the big point, forgive yourself. Okay. Let your heart be done with that. Let your emotions be done with those guilt feelings. You're not guilty. You're wonderful. You're a survivor and things can get better. You can feel better and better about your life. Okay. Uh, as I said, this is the week between Christmas and New Year's. So I hope you had a wonderful Christmas for those of you who do uh, celebrate Christmas. And for everybody else, I just hope you have a wonderful holiday and move into the new year with happiness, with joy, and with hope. So please do share this video with your friends, especially those who are survivors. And go ahead and subscribe if you would and go over to labcaf.com, L-A-B-C-A-F.com and go ahead and get on my email list so that I can share some other things with you, some programs that are coming up and some articles that I write that I think will help you a lot. Okay, so please do that. And I sure appreciate every one of you who take the time to listen to me and to let me share with you the stuff that I've learned and the things that I think you can learn from. So thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for being here. Happy New Year. And as we keep moving from survivors to thrivers, 
This is Cranford Blackman reminding you to stay safe and stay strong. Take care, everybody. To make sure you never miss an episode of Survivors to Thrivers podcast, subscribe at labcalf.com. So all...